Well, this must be the nuclear winter the news keeps fear-mongering about. This is the uh, fallout coming from Japan. No, it's not. <laughs> it's just snowing in the middle of March. Who would have thunk it? So, I kind of wanted to share something with you guys. This was stuff that my grandfather had bought um, back in the day. And kind of gives you an idea of what what the views were uh, back with World War II in, uh, in the mid-60s, early 60s. This is stuff that the state of Oregon, you could purchase it. I think some of it was given out. This is talking about nuclear fallout, how to be prepared, sealing your windows. This is a little pamphlet put out here. Uh, April of 1958 from the executive office of the president kind of interesting. Here's one called Target Oregon, the Oregon Civil Civil Defense Agency, June of 1960. And this talks about why Portland is a target, um, different fallouts that might occur if Portland, uh, down here Kalama is a target, uh, different contamination, certainly if something was hit up north, um, a thousand people for dinner, why you should be prepared for your own family. Um, and it talks about local, you know, Portland, Klamath County uh, as larger targets, certainly some of the bases that are around there. Uh, mobile support and kind of a summation of everything. But some of these things were kind of interesting. I thought it would be neat to share with you. Some of this look familiar here. But uh, here's fallout protection for under 20 cents. Here's a great ad for Tang. <laughs> Um, he actually goes in this article to uh, teach you how to make a 20 cent fallout meter. And I'm sure there's plenty of stuff online. Um, I won't write all this stuff down there, but it uh, talks about using a drinking glass with foil, uh, 25 cent coin, and scissors. I don't know if it all still applies because I'm sure the material of the coins has changed a bit. But um, yeah, 20 cents for nuclear survivals is pretty good. They pray to be fair. I don't think that's the article he was saving. Let's see what else he's got in here. Again, this is stuff my grandfather bought. Nuclear War Fear. A message from the chairman of the First Atomic Energy Commission. Don't let it ruin your life. That's the headline. So, again, they were giving people information, but hopefully they weren't trying to scare the crap out of everyone like our current news is. Uh, this goes into acute radiation and injury, uh, different symptoms. Symptoms. Of course, this is all different dosage now. Uh, this is used as REMS um, or RADS, and uh, now it uses GRAYS, I believe they call it. But neat little articles. Um, you can survive atomic attack. Items for a fallout shelter verified. A nice quick list for you to go over. Hopefully this isn't too blurry. Guide for shelter and food. Now this is pretty good, because a lot of this still um, applies for storing stuff today. Milk. Uh, daily needs per person have two weeks supply canned meats uh, 28 servings fruits vegetables cereals kind of stuff that you want to have on a two-week supply certainly back then they even didn't you know recommend just a 72-hour supply these guys are talking weeks uh, first aid supply antiseptic and even some of these are still very current um, sodium chloride tablets table of salt baking soda all the things that we talk about in our storage Here's the main attraction, the family fallout shelter. Now, it is kind of funny. I think this is 61, 59. This cost 10 cents from the U.S. government printing office. And uh, it's ideas on how to build shelter um, with actual schematics of incorporating, you know, these brick shelters into your basement. Here in Central Oregon, that's certainly not going to be... <laughs> um, the way to do it because you dig down more than a foot here and you're going to hit solid rock. So there aren't too many basements in this area. But uh, fallout shelter is needed everywhere. It localizes on the map different uh, nuclear areas, fallout areas within one hour after detonation, all the different ones, and then the jet stream. Looks familiar with a lot of you know local news now. Even Washington here coming down into Oregon, Nevada, Utah, and that's the jet stream and the way it would spread. Um, obviously depending on which uh, plant went and etc but neat book for 10 cents 
you can learn how to build a family fallout shelter. And uh, for 20 cents, you can build yourself a little Geiger counter. So, pretty cool. They just thought I'd share it. Times haven't really changed that much, have they? In closing, I'd, I'd actually like to thank Doc Sacromaniac. I don't know if any of you guys follow him. Um, but his video, um, several videos that he's done lately, um, have really been kind of right on target with identifying a lot of the people that are just out to scare and profit uh, from the radiation stuff. And, um, you know, he brought out a great point, which if we are the preppers, if we are the, the guys that are prepared and we're the ones that our friends and our family are going to look to for answers, we certainly can't be running around screaming that the sky is falling uh, without provocation, without proof. And uh, to simply get, you know, viewership um, is sickening. Now, certainly there's a few people out there, um, like Doc, uh, Steve, Safe Arm Review. He did several videos. Um, he's also got an extensive military background. And what he did was provide the people with information. And I think he did a few more videos than he'd planned to, uh, simply because people didn't read the information. They wanted it spoon-fed to them. Uh, so he made a few more videos trying to explain and to calm people down and just to give you info because information is knowledge. Um, you know, there's people like George for title, um, which he has sort of a satirical humor, which I'm sure his videos weren't meant to be serious. But certainly uh, there's a lot of folks out there that were trying to just profit and at mainstream media does it through advertising and, um, you know, YouTube guys do it through their their ads and uh you know it's just i don't know i'm going to stop my rant but i did want to thank uh doc sacromaniac um for putting out that video and uh hopefully there was enough people watching it that uh kind of took the edge off uh the hysteria but uh yeah stay prepared that's the whole reason we do this is it takes the the boogeyman out of the closet um you know the the fear shouldn't be there because you should be prepared and um that's all I'm going to really say. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.